All right, time now for our Muni moment. Municipal debt sales have slid this year, of course, stymied by high interest rates and a lot of volatility here about economic conditions and the market itself. But we talk about that decline in the volume of bonds sold at auction, and the big question is, where is it going? Whitney Pierce Fitz joining us right now. She's fixed income portfolio manager over at Appleton Partners. And Whitney, I do want to start off with issuance, or rather the lack thereof, and quite frankly, where is it? What's happened? You're right. We have seen a lack of issuance this year. We're about 15 percent behind last year, and that's coming off a year that was was also behind the previous year. So we've really fallen off in issuance um, for quite some time now. Um, we hope to see issuance coming back, um, potentially with some infrastructure deals, things like that. But right now, with um, COVID, COVID money is still filling coffers of municipalities. Uh, they're in good shape. They haven't needed to come to the come to the markets, as well as the volatility. There's, you know, the unknown of how they're going to come to come to the market. Yeah. Um, so those factors are all leading to um, the decline in issuance this year. And, and it's interesting too that some of what we have seen come to market hasn't necessarily been through the auction process. We've seen kind of a, 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 a uptick, if you will, uh, in private placements here. And I'm wondering that, as from an investor perspective, does that matter? matter at all? Does that distinction matter? Well, it's interesting. So back in 2008, they were less than 1% of the market. Um, they're up to about 8% now, I believe. Um, so it's still a relatively small part of the market. We think it's appealing for some investors because um, the lenders are able to have um, more control over the, um, the terms of the deals. Um, the lenders are able to charge a little bit more for maybe a somewhat more risky um, risky deal. Um, so while it is, it has improved, you know, in, increased in um, in percentage. It's not a huge part of the municipal market at this point. And Whitney, I want to broaden out here and talk about the sell-off that we've seen in the muni market. Of course, alongside what we saw in the treasury market last week, you saw a pretty brutal sell-off in the muni market as well, with some of those yields absolutely surging. Do you think there's more momentum, more steam behind that rise that we've seen in overall yields, or do you think maybe Maybe now is a buying opportunity. Uh, I think now is an absolute buying opportunity, and and that's what we've been practicing um, in our investing as well. I think that um, it, when we see these spikes in yields, given um, when we get various data points, you know, CPI tomorrow, PPI, when we get um, Chair Powell's Fed Jackson Hole meeting, um, I think for all those opportunities, it's an important time to buy. We've been in such a um, the the environment with the inverted curve for so long, and sh the short yields have really been uh, very attractive, dragging everybody down there. Um, I think it's an important time for clients to add duration into the portfolios, because when we do hit that recession, which which we do think is going to happen, clients are going to want to be locked into those higher yields. Excuse me, higher yields um, along the yield curve. All right, now's the time to add duration. I'm also curious to get your thoughts on relative value here, particularly against the Treasury market, because I'm taking a look at some of these muni to Treasury ratios. I'm looking at 10 year muni debt. I see between 60, 70 percent of Treasuries. Do you think that's fair value here, or what should that ratio look like? You're right. We've been in that ratio throughout the year, and we think we're going to be in that ratio for the remainder of the year. Um, and it is rich relative to longer-term trends. The 10-year muni treasury ratio over, say, a 10-year period averaged about 85 percent. So it is rich relative to, that, relative to that. But if you look at absolute yields, you know, we're, we're hundreds of basis points higher than we were two years ago. So there is still value to be had in munis, despite looking at the relative value versus treasuries. 